We're bringing you another episode of Buff TV. Mr. Smith likes us just enough that he guaranteed us for the rest of the season. So let's get started. Now reported to Dakota to hear about our PAC champion cross country team. I'm here with Brooke France and Brady Records from the cross country team. Okay, Brady, do you enjoy running or do you just do it to stay home? I enjoy running. Ooh. Okay, so Brooke, how many miles do you run a week? About 20. Gotcha. So, most important question of all, what kind of running shoes do you guys prefer? I wear Saponis. I wear Nikes. Gotta give me some of those. Back to you, Ethan. Oh, didn't see you there. I was busy doing my yoga. Now it's time for hashtag run on the street with Dominic. <laughs> Do you have a second? I do. Okay, I have a question. What is it? What is the name of the Ohio governor? John Kasich. Okay, I'm here with Carson Sobey. And Carson, I have a question for you. What is the name of the Ohio governor? Um, John Kasich. What's his last name? Okay, that's good enough. Okay, I'm here with Julia McGivern. And Julia, what is the name of the Ohio governor? Something King. I don't know his first name. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Mrs. Iring, the librarian. And Mrs. Iring, I have a question. Okay. Who is the Ohio governor? Governor John Kasich. That's good. Now it's time to learn a little bit more about Mrs. Keith with our segment we call. What you know about me? What you, what you know about me? Mr. Reinbrecht did such a great job last week. I don't know how I'll compete, but let's find out what you know about me. What is your favorite TV show or shows? I'm really into this new show. It's the second season called The Blacklist. There's a really good bad guy you gotta love. That's an oxymoron, kids. Next, do you believe in the five second rule? No, I don't. I make it the 30 second rule, because as I get older, I'm slower. What is your favorite healthy snack? <laughs> I guess vanilla Oreos doesn't count. And finally, if you had to pick a subject besides language arts to teach, what would it be and why? I love history, but only the history I want to choose. Like the knights and stuff? No. World War II, westward expansion, civil war. So, what'd you know about me? Or what'd you learn about me? walking down the hall and there's another kid coming and you're like, do you look at them? Do you not look at them? What do you do? Awkward. What are you supposed to do? Mrs. Axe would know. I'm here with Mrs. Axe. So Mrs. Axe, do you think that the students of Buckeye Junior High have good eye contact? You know what, Ethan, I do feel that in general the students here at Buckeye Junior High have very good eye contact. But even those students that don't, um, they can get better with practice. One of the four P's is being polite. Do you have any tips that you can give us? Hmm. Tips for being polite. I would say, first of all, smile. I think that shows that you're kind. I would then say use good manners. I think it's important for all of us to slow down and say our pleases and our thank yous. I would also say probably be respectful in the way that you communicate, whether you are the listener, I'm sorry, the listener or the speaker. And then finally, I would say... In addition to being kind, as I mentioned earlier, I would say be helpful, and then I would also say be sincere, be genuine. Okay, let's see, let's see Dominic put Mrs. Axe's advice to practice. Hey Dominic. Oh, hi Miss Rollo. Don't forget to smile and make eye contact if you're within 10 feet of someone. Here's our new segment called the Top 10 List. 
here are the top 10 reasons why the junior high is better than the elementary school. Number 10 is the lockers have locks. Number 9 is because lunch is earlier. Eight is that there is less people in the homes and in junior high. Number 7, girls can wear makeup here and I wear it best. Number six, smiles for Mr. Smith. Number five, we're treated like young adults here. Number four, we have some pretty awesome teachers here at the junior high. But then again, we do have some awesome elementary teachers. Number three, there's no lines. And you can talk in the hall. Number two, more freedom. Number one, there's no clapping pattern. Well, I certainly enjoy the freedom. This is Riley Stout signing out. I'm Rachel. Stay classy, Bucks. I'm Ethan. Have a great day, and may the Morgan Freeman be with you, always. We'll see you next time.